Alexis, how are you? Oh, oh, how do we do this? There we go. There we My bad, I apologize. Nice to see you. No, you're all good. Welcome this to Danielson amazing. Middle School. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Say hello to our Dynasty Dance Team as we walk in. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Our cheerleaders. I wanted to show you a little bit of our fine arts department as you came in. I love it. And that's actually Mr. Gall, who's here from uh, Glen High School, who comes over and does percussion for us. So he's getting his students ready to be future Grizzlies. So they're getting Grizzly ready, which is super exciting. Woo! Awesome job. So the beauty of our campus is it was built um, to highlight our fine arts so that you could hear stuff like that as you came in. And one of the things that's awesome about opening a new school is we have a, an influence from all the other great middle schools in Leander ISD. So we were fortunate to get Kara Kasberg from Cedar Park Middle School and to bring the talent that she had going on there here. So as we go through the building, everywhere is just an influx of people from other schools in our district that have made this a great place. So we're blessed to have her and her team. Boys, excellent job. Thank you, you so much. Awesome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> They'll give you a bow. Bye-bye. All right. Bye -bye. Good job, guys. Girls, do you want to take us to art? Is that okay? Yes. Hi. How are you? Doing well. What do we got going on today? We are learning facial features. That's the hardest one. <laughs> yes. Brenner, you got, I got an eye on you, bro. What are you drawing? Um, okay. I, don't know. <laughs> I never see any of that, though. All I see is your, your bangs. That's crazy. Where, are you going to put the bangs on this one, too? <laughs> Girls, what do you think of this dance hall? You like it? I love it, yes. And this is another one of those major influences from our district. So Kelly came to us from Four Points, and so we were able to take where we were at Cedar Park. Now we have an influence of Four Points to continue to build Danielson. It's been really, really neat. So the namesake is obviously really important here, and Stacy was a dance teacher. Can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, I could talk all day about Stacy. She's a childhood friend. We went to school together. We were dancers together. We went to Kilgore College. We were Rangerettes. And what I think I love the most about Stacy is the way that she is perceived by the community is exactly who she was. She was actually even better than that. So it's neat to coach a team that wears her name where we model our culture after everything that she was. And we live it and we breathe it. And she was just a superhero all around. So we're walking right now. We have some seventh graders who are going to lunch. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna walk actually upstairs um, to Sixth grade English language arts is where okay. we're going next. Okay. We do a reverse flow of traffic on this way because of our learning steps. We didn't want anybody accidentally maybe tapping somebody on the back of the head as they came down the stairs. Okay. So for safety purposes, we want everybody to see who's coming at them. Nice. And so our students go the opposite direction like we are overseas. Yeah. Nice, nice. One of the beautiful parts of this building and, and that we love to show off is our student union. It's so if so you think beautiful. about it, yeah, like we can do, once we're able to do more performances and have uh, more community events here, we have this huge space. Our stage is there, our learning steps. We can even have people sit up here. You can hear, you can see everything. Yeah. And so we, don't always, we won't always have to use the packs in the different places inside the school district because we can do a lot of what we can do just here inside of our own house, which is neat. That's awesome. Danielson is on its path to be a new tech middle school. And what that means is we have a focus on project-based learning inside of our classrooms. This year, we've actually done uh, a lot of training with our sixth grade team, um, all four core uh, components. And so these are some of our English language arts students here in sixth grade, here in Ms. Kelly's class. And so Perfect. we're going to walk in. We're going to talk to them about the projects that they may be working on, um, what project-based learning has been like for them here yeah. this school year. Um, and also, I think Ms. Kelly can speak to it from a teacher's perspective of the trainings and the things that she's seen. Hi. So project-based learning just in general has been amazing. It's a, I mean, I've always loved that way of learning for students. I'd much rather get to see them present what they know instead of just, you know, show, regurgitating what they've been told. Right. We're glad because instead of working by ourselves and struggling, Ms. Kelly puts us in groups so we can all work together and help and we can all accomplish together. So, I love that. So when you talk about things you didn't know, you guys do something called a knows and needs to know. Can you explain that? 
Yes, we do. She tells us everything we've been learning. She divides them. One that says knows. We ev everybody types whatever they know, and things we don't know, everybody will type there, and that's things Miss Kelly teaches us. So you're you're learning based off what you don't know. Yes. And you already taking into account the stuff you do know. Yes. We are one of two middle school dual language campuses, along with Henry Middle School. Yeah. And so. We are still working on the same project that is happening in all the other classes. Mr. Potter, do you want to talk a little bit about the project and what's happening here in dual language? So our project is we are kind of just really going into this word study and kind of what is, how do we understand words? And especially being in dual language, we have this, this knowledge of words and really how does it help us understand other languages? So I came up with the word crecio. It means that it's like a taller, like in Spanish it's crecer. Tell me the difference between being at Larkspur in a non-dual language school to becoming inside of a dual language school. I was born in Venezuela and I, my first language is Spanish. Mm -hmm. And I like speaking Spanish. It's, uh, it's fluid and not having like a dual language and Larkspur. It, like, it kind of affect me and my Spanish. But now like we talk like both and it, it really helps. Awesome. A lot. Thank you. Thank you That's for sharing. Awesome. Thank you so much. Do you want to, we're going to go ahead and exit the room. Is that okay? Unless you guys want to talk some more. Nothing. All right. All right. <laughs> One of the important parts about having a dual language campus is you're learning your first language till you're about 15 years old. Wow. That's when you're developing that language. So when we were stopping dual language at the fifth grade level, we were stopping students developing their first language. That's amazing. And, and it's one of the things that we were purposeful about, right? So if you're named uh, Collaborative Way Middle School, if you're named whatever, if you're named after Tom Glenn, then you're understanding what that means. And for us, being named after Stacy K. Danielson was important to us. And so we decided early on that invest, encourage, and impact would be the Stacy K. Way. Walking and talking to her parents, learning about her from various uh, members of the Cedar Park High School community. We talked about the investment that she makes in others. That's the investment we want to make in our students, and we want to invest that into each other. And then her work to encourage others. We want to encourage our students to go beyond their potential, and then also encourage each other to be the best we can as educators. And then finally, impact is, is our third, I guess, value or whatever that we've learned from Stacy, which is what impact can we make on them? What impact will they make on us? We know they're going to, but what impact can we make on this community? And so the Danielson community is coming together to live that Stacy K way. What's up, boys? Oh, oh you almost hit Ms. Grimes. Go, go, go. go! That is awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Good job. <laughs>